Yeah, Jill <laughs> Bellin's getting out and enjoying it this morning, hanging out with a bunch of kids, learning how to ride a bike with our friends at Pedalheads. And really couldn't be a better day to learn how to ride a bike today. It is so beautiful out, and the mosquitoes are behaving too. That is good news. Uh, we're being joined this morning by Liam, who is five years old and very fast on his bike. And we also have Kaylin and Sarah here from Pedalheads. We're going to learn something really important here. This is how to fit a helmet properly. So you've got something to break this down and make it easy for parents. Yes. So we teach something called the four S's. And what those are are snug, straight, straps and stickers okay. and those four S's make up a good safe helmet so first off the stickers are all the ones on the inside they are different numbers and certification that allow you to see if this helmet is safety certified by our Canadian government okay. second of all is straps and straight so you're gonna put Liam wanna put your helmet on we have it nice and straight across his forehead Two fingers above his eyebrows. Mm -hmm. So this makes up a great helmet that is covering his full head and brain. Yep. Then Liam, you can do up your do up your straps. Yeah. Go ahead. Sweet hair, by the way. <laughs> so his straps are supposed to fit nice and snug under his chin. Yep. We don't want them too tight and we won't don't want them too loose. So there's enough that there's room, he's not gonna pinch his skin, but there is not too loose that his helmet will come off his head. And then on the sides, we need to make sure that this buckle makes a Y shape under his ear. So this is covering his whole head and brain and his straps are done up really well. So this covers our four S's for a helmet fit. Okay, the four S's one more time. Four S's are stickers on the inside, straight, snug to his head, and straps. Awesome. Four S's. High five there, Liam. Good job. What'd you have for breakfast? Cheerios. Cheerios. Right on. Who rides a bike faster, you or your sister? My sister. My sister. That's a very honest kid. Um, now, we were talking a little bit earlier. This is a question that both Tara and Andy had about getting the training wheels off. So how do you guys encourage to progress the kids towards training wheels and no training wheels, Sarah? Well, we make sure they have lots of practice with their training wheels doing certain things. So pedaling continuously and pedaling really fast. So once they get their tra the training wheels off, we tell them to hold onto their handlebars, look straight ahead, and keep pedaling. Yeah. Pedal, 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 pedal. As soon as you stop pedaling, that's when you tip. Okay. And also soft surfaces are key. Yes. We always practice on grass to start out. Um, that way, if they do tip over, they don't have far to go and it doesn't hurt. Okay, fantastic. Uh, learning all things bike-related here for kids with Pedalheads. And Pedalheads.com is where you can go for more information and sign up for camps this summer, guys. I think it's uh, going to do great, that after the show. Great-looking camp. Grass, right? One that kid makes just so ran sense. into the other kid's line, by the way. That was awesome. <laughs> if he'd have fallen, though, it would have been on grass. That's a good thing. <laughs>